Hi, this is Hugh Cushing from White Source Software, and today I'm going to show you the integration of White Source into Visual Studio Code. We have uh, integrations for a variety of IDEs uh, Visual Studio Classic, Visual Studio Code, Eclipse, NetStorm, IntelliJ, and uh, PyCharm as well. But today we'll focus on the VS Code. Integration. The idea is we want you to be able to find any issues with your open source libraries as you add them, uh, either from a security perspective or a license compliance perspective. Uh, obviously, the earlier you find those, the better, so you can know the problems and resolve them before you've gotten too committed to a particular library version. All right, well, to install our plugin, you first go to the extensions bar, or just like uh, with any other extension, you just type white source because we're on the marketplace. You simply say install, and now it's ready to, to be used, uh, but we have to activate it. In other words, we have to point it to your organization within white source so that we know what policies, for example, around licensing, we should tell you about violations of. So we're going to bring up the command palette, which I'm sure you know um, if you're a VS Code user. And the option we're going to pick is white source, activate white source advise. Right. So you simply type your, excuse me, uh, email here. And then it asks for your input, input your white source advise license key. And where you get that is on within your login within the white source UI. Uh, I'm going to switch to the organization that's relevant here. And the way you get your activation key is to click on the integrate tab here. This is one way to do it. Uh, and then at the bottom, you'll see developer integrations. If you expand advice for IDE, you'll either see a license key already here or a button to say create license key. In this case, I already have a license key, and this, this key works across all our IDE integrations. You simply click on this icon to put it in your clipboard, flip back to VS Code, hit Enter. And then it asks, it says, we want to activate it. Would you like to remember the license key? Uh, which normally you would say yes, unless you're using somebody else's computer for some reason. And then we're good to go. I have a sample project here, a .NET Core project. Uh, and if I want to scan it, I simply hit, bring up the command uh, palette and choose scan workspace with white source advise. And down here, it comes up with uh, the detections that it discovered. And if you say show problems, it will bring you to those findings. So you'll see a bunch of different CVEs here within this project. Focus on this one here. This this one is about uh, the Recurly API client. It's a version 1.0.1, and it says the up the fix is to upgrade it to version 1.8.2. So I simply update the reference in my CS proj. Save and do a restore. We go back and you see now the number has changed and our, that uh, last recurly finding is no more. So this is how you can use the VS Code extension from white source to nip open source problems in the bud. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.